Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about recommending a database service to your sizing. Azure SQL database and Azure SQL managed instance are based on SQL Server database engine architecture that's adjusted for the cloud environment to ensure 99.99% availability. There are two service tiers that you need to be aware of, general purpose and business critical. For Azure SQL database, there is an additional service tier offer, which is hyperscale. Let me explain each of these in detail. So what is general purpose? General purpose is designed for budget-oriented workloads. Business critical is designed for low latency workload with high resiliency to failures and fast failovers. And hyperscale, which is only designed for Azure SQL database, is designed for most business workloads providing high scalable storage, read scale out, and fast database restore capabilities. Let's look into general purpose service tier for Azure SQL database and SQL managed instance. The architectural model for the general purpose service tier is based on a separation of compute and storage. This architectural model relies on high availability and reliability of blob storage that transparently replicates database files and guarantees no data loss if underlying infrastructure failures happens. This is an example diagram which shows four nodes in standard architectural model with the separated compute and storage layers. In this architectural model for general purpose service tier, there are two layers, a stateless compute layer and a stateful data layer. So what is a stateless compute layer? A stateless compute layer that is running the SQL server.exe process and contains only transient and cached data. This stateless node is operated by Azure Service Fabric. And the stateful data layer with database files that are stored in the Azure Blob Storage. Azure Blob Storage guarantees that there will be no data loss for any record that is placed in any database file. Now let's look into business critical tier. Premium business critical service tier model is based on a cluster of database engine processes. This architectural model relies on a fact that there is always a quorum of available database engine nodes and has minimal performance impact on your workload even during maintenance activities. Premium availability is enabled in premium and business critical service tiers and is designed for intensive workloads that cannot tolerate any performance impact due to the ongoing maintenance operations. So when can you choose this business critical tier? The key reasons why you should choose business critical service tier instead of a general purpose tier is when you need low IO latency requirement, frequent communication between application and database, long running transactions that modify data, workload with reporting and analytic queries, higher resiliency and faster recovery from failures, higher availability and fast geo recovery. This is the following table which describes the key differences between service tiers for the latest generation, which is generation five. You can access this slide on the study guide. If you go to a guide to cloud.com on the course page, I will put a link to download this study guide for your future reference. Now let us look into how can you dynamically scale Azure SQL database and Azure SQL managed instance. The scaling of the database can be done using Azure portal using a slider. Azure SQL database offers the DTU based purchasing model and vCore based purchasing model, while Azure SQL managed instance offers just vCore based purchasing model. So what is a DTU based purchasing model? The DTU-based purchasing model offers a blend of compute, memory, and I.O. resources in three service tiers to support lightweight to heavyweight database workloads, which include basic, standard, premium. Performance levels within each tier provides a different mix of these resources to which you can add additional storage resources. 
The second purchasing model is V Core. In the V Core based purchasing model, this lets you choose the number of V cores, the amount or memory, and the amount and speed of storage. This purchasing model offers three service tiers general purpose, business critical, and hyperscale. So, how can you scale single database in Azure SQL database? Single databases in Azure SQL database support manual dynamic scalability, but not auto scale. For a more automatic experience, consider using elastic pools, which will allow database to share resources in a pool based on individual database needs. With a single database, you can use either DTU or vCore models to define maximum amount of resources that will be assigned to each database. An elastic pool will enable you to define maximum resource limit per group of database in the pool. That concludes this episode. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about how can you recommend a database encryption option. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.